solo por ti Amor de mi alma La luna que excita Here mi you are. Oh my dear oh, uncle, how are you darling. today, huh? And what can I do for I you? I want some butter. Can you get it for me from the uh, fridge? Of course. Thanks. Do you see? Sylvia's back. Mm -hmm. Dad. Dad, Sylvia's here again. What's wrong? Uncle, do you have a problem, huh? No, 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 it's nothing. It's just one of those silly chain letters jobless people enjoy sending. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Mm, hi, good Daddy. Morning. I can't have breakfast with you because I'm late. Thanks, my dear little brother. Oh, you're having breakfast? You really should. I've reminded you so often that your most important meal is breakfast, Natty. I know, Dad, but I woke up very late and now I have to hurry up. Hmm? Oh, you don't get up early anyway, if I'm not mistaken. What time did you come back last night? It was half past ten, hey, Sylvia? Yes, it was half past ten. That is awful. I can't believe it. They're using you like a slave in that place, darling. They're pushing you too hard. It's not always like that. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> oh, Natty, wait. I almost forgot. Did you remember the baby's clothing? The order you urgently mm. wanted your boss to see? Um, you see, I have to ask him about it, but I'll, I'll let you know, no, okay? No, no, Natty. Come on. Please, I'll... My dear, I've received audience. confirmation that the hunk Enrique Iglesias is staying incognito somewhere in Lima, apparently. He's at the Holiday Inn. <gasps> so Enrique Iglesias somewhere in Lima? I don't believe it. Enrique Iglesias, you've been chosen to form part of the amazing collection of Mimi Zambrano. It is really amazing honor to be part of this um, sock of Ricky Martin. What about someone like Shane here? And look at Shakira's T-shirt. <laughs> but what's more important, it's that my precious Enrique is going to give me something special. What more could I ask for? Good morning. Mm. <laughs> the sun has risen for everybody today, hasn't Good it? Good morning, Mr. Orlando. How's my niece to be getting along? This child's going to be a soccer player. <laughs> that one's going to be full of life and keep you busy. Uh, I have mm. a question. Are these girls here for the catalogue shoot? Mm. It's going to be a difficult choice. Mm, I guess so. <laughs> well, maybe you should send them through now. Put them in the waiting room, okay. right? I'll be seeing you a bit later. <laughs> Let me get this. There's a suite for you. For you alone, beautiful. Hi, Delsa Sita. Oh, hello, Nancy. Has my boss arrived? No, you are lucky, oh, although you're goodness. late. Yes. Oh, dear, I'm so worried. Why? Because my child might be a borderline case. And who told you that? How do you know? My doctor told me it could arrive between the second and third week of April. Uh -huh. And that's the borderline between Aries and Taurus. I don't believe but what I'm hearing. But if it's the second week, that'll be perfect for me. You see, Aries is compatible with my star sign. But if it arrives the third week, it's a Taurus, a Taurus! Uh. What are you doing? Look, I'm solving your problem. Now listen to me. Your little one's going to be perfect, and you and your husband love each other. You will be perfect parents. And let me tell you what I think about astrology. It's a load of nonsense. You're a Virgo, aren't you? Virgos are rational and don't believe in astrology. You are my friend, Dulcicita. You're my friend. Yes, Mr. Orlando. I'll do that. Girls, will you please go into the waiting room? Mr. Orlando will be interviewing you. Friend, stop looking so worried. What do you mean? You're jealous. He isn't going to marry anyone. What are you on about? Are you trying to insinuate that I'm mad about your boss? Oh, come on now. Oh? I think he's unbearable. Who are you trying to convince? <sighs> Virgo. A typical Virgo. Mommy! Mm? Can you make an effort and pass me the showbiz section now? No. It's bad manners to read at the table. And what do you do every morning? Don't try and be clever with me, do you hear? You know I'm an entrepreneur. I have to know what's going on in the world every day. Don't you agree, Alex? Oh, whatever you say, Mum, you're right. You won't believe who's coming to Peru. Incognito, of course. Oh, what a question, Mum. Everyone knows about Enrique Iglesias. No, someone else. Isabella Fogoni. Do I know that singer? Oh, don't be silly. It's nothing like that. 
She's not a singer, but my best friend Eugenie's daughter. May she rest in peace. Where does she come from? From Europe. She married an old millionaire. And six months ago, the old man died. Mm, I don't recall it. <laughs> Daydreaming about other things, little brother. Yes, she's a wonderful girl. She's so beautiful and so youthful. And she has lots of money in the bank, hasn't she? Bye, Uncle. Enjoy it. Uh, Sylvia, tell me something. Why are you leaving so early? I just uh, want to go over to Mrs. MP's house to see Alex. He has such a gorgeous face, huh? Don't worry. I'll see Charlie, you later, okay? Have a good time. <laughs> I'll get it. Go ahead. Ah, hello, sexy. Hello. Mm. I'm glad to see you. I thought you'd be at work by now. No, obviously not. Sylvia, it's so strange. My mum was just talking about you. Am I, I right? I see. I, I hope you said something good. But of course I did. Alex, don't you have to go to work, my dear? <laughs> I must go. Mwah. What do you say? Can we have lunch together? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Bye, Mimi. See you Bye. later. Bye. Can we go to the studio together today? No. I'm going out with Mimi. But since you are going to the factory by yourself, open it and then you must go to Guamere and make sure they hand the goods to Lucio. Mm -hmm. But give him an invoice and make sure he Amazing. pays you Where before you hand the goods over to him. Understand? Yes, it'll be no problem, but I first have to go and change. Oh, whatever. Do whatever you want to do, but go. Go, go. Hurry, hurry. I really won't take long. Bye, Mimi. Bye. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, my girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And where are we going? We're going to the hotel to see Isabella Forgoni. And with some luck, she will finally become my sister-in-law. And there is a lot of money, a lot of money hanging around there. I'm going to go to a hotel in Rico. Oh, here I come. Yay! <laughs> what happened to you? <sighs> I'm sorry, my darling, but I'm running late. <sighs> I'd like to talk to you. Is it possible for you to plan your time better, so we could perhaps talk about plans for your birthday? Look, sweetheart, you must excuse me, but I was having a chat with my neighbour's kids. You know them, don't you? Yes, but they're brats, don't you think? No, no, I don't think so. They're growing up fast, both of them. I saw them playing around here yesterday, down by the gate. I'm going to go to the boutique today. I'll call you this afternoon and we can decide what to do for your birthday. Let's do nothing. On my birthday, I'd like to do nothing. What do you mean, huh? Well, sweetheart, nothing. Nothing spectacular. You and me alone, that sounds good. Visit our favourite restaurant, have a romantic dinner. <clears throat> I disagree with you, my love. You know we always celebrate with your friends. Every year it's like a tradition. But, my darling, a tradition can be broken. It's not important. No, just imagine what your friends will say, Lorenzo. Hmm. They can say whatever they want. Who owns the day? Me, of course, so I'll be making the decision. It'll be a romantic dinner for the two of us. Look, I'm late for work. All right. I love you. Oh, before I go, you mustn't worry. Just leave everything to me, OK? All right. Solo por 